there's been some quite interesting things that have happened since we talked last, okay? Uh, uh, let me get myself in trouble by uh, dropping some names here, okay? Uh, so there's this, um, uh, uh, there's this guy, maybe you've heard of him, Francis Collins, head of the NIH. I, what is it? It's Francis it's Collins, head of the I, National Institutes of Health. <laughs> okay, he's super famous, okay? Um, so, um, uh, so, so he and the NIH have, um, uh, have been having uh, brain initiative meetings. So there's the Obama, Obama brain initiative. Yeah. That uh, was uh, 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 funded for five years and now there's another five years of funding. Anyway, long story short, <laughs> uh, 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 in the first five years, connectomics really did show that uh, it could help neuroscience. Uh, there are examples of, uh, from, from, from our lab uh, uh, the, and collaborators uh, doing a whole uh, half of a fruit fly brain, tracing out the connectivity uh, along with Google, uh, you know, the automated segmentation connectivity, just revolutionizing our understanding of uh, of this model organism. And other examples from Allen Institute doing a cubic millimeter, um, Harvard doing uh, uh, cubic millimeters. Uh, there, there have been a, a lot of good scientific results on the connectomic side, so much so that there is a push now within the NIH to fund a whole mouse brain connectome. It is, it, it, is, it is getting funded. It is getting funded, okay? It is the- You didn't lead with that. Goal. You didn't lead with that. This is very, this is amazing news. Exactly, it is amazing news, okay? And, 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 and I don't wanna, you know, God help us because, you know, uh, uh, you know, I don't wanna torpedo that by saying that it might be relevant to humanity in some way. You know, let me be a regular neuroscientist and say, you know, um, we might learn something about the mouse uh, brain from this project, uh, but uh, I wanna be very clear to anybody who's scared that we still don't understand anything about how the brain works and we never will, so we're not going to frighten you in any way. <laughs> okay, that's, that's kind of the standard speech of a neuroscientist. But, but it, the fact of the matter is, my God, we are getting there. We are uh, uh, understanding how memory is encoded. We're understanding how, to, uh, 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 how the mind works. And we're, uh, we, you know, even at the level of the NIH uh, is, is starting to really accept the idea that uh, getting a whole mouse connectome uh, is something that we can do in 10 years. Uh, it, it is ambitious. And it is a billion dollar probably uh, prospect, um, but, but they are literally considering this. And so, and, 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 and again, I'm just like a little tiny drop in the bucket on this. Uh, there are big labs, Harvard. You're, not getting, a billion, you're not getting a billion dollars, you mean? You're, you're not getting the billion dollars? I, no, but, but I, I, I have to, um, you know, to toot my horn a little bit, uh, some of the technology that I've been developed in is uh, that I've been uh, uh, part of developing. Uh, those techniques are the ones that are being considered for uh, being able to do a whole mouse connectome. Okay, and and there's there's a reason for it, right? Because uh, you know to to even contemplate doing a whole mouse brain connectome, uh, you have to develop really new techniques, and this includes uh, these multi-beam electron microscopes. Uh, and it includes, uh, I think, probably thick sectioning and broad ion beam milling. And, and, it's, and it's a real thing for good science, for good science purpose, okay? It, it is, uh, 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 there was, uh, the, one of the scientists, uh, I was listening to um, one of these meetings that, uh, uh, where the scientists were um, proposing this to Francis Collins and the, and the group, and, and they, were, uh, they were saying there's, um, you know, it's, it's, it's like neuroscience can be considered before connectomics and after connectomics. Uh, you know, before connectomics, we did know what the circuits looked like at a fine-grained level. And so how are we supposed to really understand what they were doing? 
And uh, after kind of comics, my God, we really see the circuit, at least we have a fighting chance at understanding it. This is not saying that we understand all of the neuroscience or something, but it's saying that our techniques have reached a level that, um, uh, that, we, can, uh, that we can think about doing this. This is being considered from a purely, uh, we don't have uh, a good enough anatomical uh, details of a mammalian system. We're getting that in, in systems like fruit fly and stuff now, but we don't have a good enough anatomical fine ground understanding of, uh, uh, of the anatomy of the connectivity of the brain uh, to answer all of these different questions of all these different labs. If we pooled our funding, uh, could we get uh, a full mouse brain connectome? 